A pulley in figure has radius 0 0.160 meters and moment of inertia 0 0.380 kilogram meter square. The rope does not slip on the pulley rim. Use energy methods to calculate the speed of the 4 kg block just before it strikes the floor. So he's asking us to find out the uh, speed of the 4 kg block just before it strikes the floor. So law of we have to use the law of conservation of energy. Initial energy is equal to final energy. Initially, we have only gravitational potential energy. Suppose if you see this figure, the 4 kg block is hanging from here and the 2 kg block is resting on the floor. Okay, and both the blocks are connected through a cable via pulley. Now, initial energy is equal to final energy. So initially you have the gravitational potential energy. So this gravitational potential energy is equal to rotational kinetic energy of the pulley and the translational uh, kinetic energy of both the blocks. Once the block is really 4 kg block is released, this goes down and then 2 kg block goes up. Therefore, you have the kinetic energy for both 4 kg block and 5, 2 kg block. And then second, next, you have the um, gravitational potential energy of the 2 kg block. Okay. This is the total energy. This is the before, this is after. Before releasing the uh, block, we have only gravitational potential energy. And after releasing the block, we have the rotational kinetic energy of the pulley and then the translational kinetic energy of the 4 kg block and 2 kg block. And then we have the uh, gravitational potential energy of the 2 kg block because it goes up and it goes down now. So it has this one. It, 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 it will don't want to have any gravitational potential energy. By the time it reaches the ground, only 2 kg block has the gravitational potential energy. Now write down the equation. Gravitational potential energy is equal to mgh. And initially, the block has mass 4 kilograms. And then g is 9.8. And then the distance is 5 meters. It is at a height of 5 meters. So mgh is equal to 1.9, 196 joules. Okay, 4 into 9.8 into 5 is 196 joules. No rotational kinetic energy of the pulley. Rotational kinetic energy is equal to half i omega square and then half into uh, moment of inertia is given as 0 0.380 kilogram meter square and then omega is not known to us. We have to find out omega, rotational uh, uh, quantity. That means angular velocity is equal to V by R. So angular velocity is equal to linear velocity divided by R. Omega is equal to V by R. R is known to us. V is not known to us. We have to find out the V. So we will substitute that value V by 0 0.160 here. And then omega square is equal to V by 0 0.160 whole square. That gives 7.42 V square joules. Now, translational kinetic energy. Translational kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. Here, half into both the masses have the velocity. And they both are connected through the pulley. Therefore, they have the same velocity. Therefore, we have to take half m1 plus m2 v square. Therefore, half 4 kg plus 2 kg, total 6 kg into v square. Therefore, that is equal to 3 v square is the total translational kinetic energy of the blocks. Now, final <coughs> gravitational potential energy of the 2 kg block, that is mghf. So, 2 kg multiplied by g, 9.8 and height. It goes up now, five, 5 meters, it goes up. So that is equal to 998 joules. Now equate the values. 196 joules is equal to 7.42 V square plus 3 V square plus 98. Solving for V, we get 3.10 meters per second. This is the answer for this question. It is just using the energies. Okay, generally the students will make a mistake here, translational kinetic energy. They forget that 4 kg block also has the translational kinetic energy. They will not take that into consideration. Only 2 kg block uh, translational kinetic energy will they take, consider, and then do the problem. They will not get the answer. But if you take both the masses, then you will get the answer. That's it. Nothing beyond that. Okay. Thank you.
थैंक यू बाय बाय